morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Really good. Really good, man. Uh, stomach hurts. How How are you? Stomach hurts. <laughs> What'd you eat too much? <laughs> it It's still coming out of me. Oh, okay. Okay. It's still, it's still coming out of me. This morning, this morning was a rough, rough shit. Oh, yeah? Oh man, but how are you? How are you this there? morning, my brother? Oh, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little tired, but I'm no worse for the wear. Just have a normal, regular, regular old Sunday, regular old Sunday. Getting ready to get ready to drive across fucking Kansas for the 400th time this year. So, yay! Whoa. Can't fucking wait. Oh boy, another so, nine so hours in the car. I was just about to say that. And your limits? And your limits nine? My limits exactly nine. Like that's pretty much what I've discovered. I. When when the when the when the girls were a lot smaller, it was I would take them, you know, about four four to six hours down the road between towns because they were so small, and they couldn't really last in the car very long on road trips. But uh, occasionally we could make it like six to eight hours, and that kind of became the the maximum range for the cutoff. And then my my max is pretty much about nine. You know, if I was really pushing it, maybe ten hours. Um, I think a couple of years ago I was driving across Texas uh, from south to north. And I drove, I think, eleven hours in one day. I want to say, and it was still, and I was still in Texas at the end. By the way, I went from, I went from uh, southeast of Houston all the way up to inside the Panhandle of Texas. And oh shit, I, I want to say that was an eleven-hour drive, and I was still in Texas at the end of that day. So yeah, but it is what it is. It is what it is. We're almost done, so we'll be so we'll be out to Missouri for for good in about two and a half weeks. So. Um. The countdown is coming, guys, and that same yeah. countdown is the season is the season three countdown too. Now, oh, here's yeah. my one here's my one question for you. With a rogue energy, how many hours can you drive straight? Oh, dude, I could drive for like ten days, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and I'll do not. And like when the cops when the cops find me, I'll be like I'll just be like in a car wearing a diaper and nothing else. You know what I mean? Like. You know, I'll have like I'll have like a freaking lifetime supply of tapioca pudding in the back for no good fucking reason. You know what I mean? And the car and the car may not be stolen. Okay. But rogue energy is the best energy drink in the world. Okay. Like I can attest to that. All right. Why 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 our military doesn't use that shit? Okay, to like keep soldiers awake on, on duty, I don't know yet. But we're gonna find it out. So yeah, and make sure and make sure you yeah, make sure you use code DD two fourteen gaming for ten percent off your next order today. And the more you order, that percentage will go up. So there you go, there you go. So, order order Rogue Energy and and get high on meth. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> huh? uh, so so what was your so what was your Thanksgiving like, man? What was the what was the go to meal? Well, it was, well, we went, we went up to, um, my girlfriend's parents' house. They live in, uh, Iowa. Uh, so a little bit about nice. two, about two and a half hours North. They're not, they're not extremely far away, uh, from Kansas city, but about two and a half hours as the crow flies. Uh, so we drove up there and we stayed up there on, I think Tuesday, t- Tuesday through, uh, Friday morning, basically. So we drove up there on Tuesday. Uh, we went to the zoo in Omaha, Nebraska, which is across the river from where her parents live. Excuse me. I went to the zoo in Omaha, Nebraska on Wednesday, uh, the day before Thanksgiving. That was actually really cool. Not going to lie, for, for being a, a much smaller city, Omaha, Nebraska Zoo puts Kansas cities to fucking shame. So, like, no no exaggeration there. Like, they, the Omaha Zoo, if you, if, they, if you guys are ever in Nebraska, for whatever reason, the Omaha Zoo is totally worth it. So I would t- highly recommend that. Uh, as far as Thanksgiving, it, it went really well. Um, you know, everybody kind of g- got up, did their own thing. Um, we had the very standard, kind of very typical. We had, you know, there was there was turkey, turkey, mashed potatoes, gravy, you know, sweet potatoes or yams, depending on what you call them. Uh, green bean casserole. There was a corn casserole. Uh, several different types of pie. Um, all of it, all of it was delicious. Uh, every last bit of it was delicious. I, I took a leg. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I, at, at <coughs> Thanksgiving dinner, I like eating the turkey leg. So, um, that's what I usually eat at the dinner. And then I, I kind of snack on the leftovers for the next like eight days or whatever. Yep. And then, um, and yeah, that was, and honestly, that was pretty much it. Um, we didn't really, we didn't overall, we didn't really do too much, but I think that's kind of the idea. Right. Uh, I did go for a jog um, 
the day we went to the Omaha Zoo, I actually got up in the morning. I got up early and I actually went for a jog. I haven't gone for a jog in a long time. So that was kind of nice. I got you put, I you put a really you put a really exciting post up that day too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, twice <laughs> twice a year, I I commemorate uh, the memory and I try to honor the memory of my best friend who unfortunately he he passed away a long time ago. He passed away in two thousand three in March of two thousand three. So it's been it's been almost twenty years since this dude has left the earth. Holy but shit! But he was a really good guy, and with the advent of social media, I can now speak his name to the masses so that his name does not go uh unforgotten so to speak or people don't lose sight of the memory of him in their heads uh obviously family members uh some of his good friends friends like me obviously will never remember will never forget this guy obviously but by putting his name out there twice a year it reminds people you know who he was and if maybe it helps spark somebody's memory and they remember like a, a something they did with him or hung out with him one time or whatever like that's if, if, if i can play a small part in that so that his name doesn't go unspoken you know then i will do that that's that's kind of the job i i charged myself with after he passed away because we were we were we were still very young, young and adult we were 22 years old when he passed away so you know it seems you you feel you feel like you're so much older mm-hmm in your early twenties than you actually are. Now it's been almost 20 years and I'm almost twice as old as he was when he passed away. So yeah. it's, it's, yeah, it's one of those things, but I, yeah, I went on a jog and ran up, a, ran up a couple Hills and ran down a couple more and saw some really cool scenery and, and, you know, running through the fields of Iowa, I guess. So yeah, it was a good, it was a good time to think, you know? So yeah. It's very special to choose like the day that Thanksgiving to, to do to you're know, around or around the time that Thanksgiving to do that, to kind of like give thanks for commemorating the memories that you had with him. Sure. So that's, a, it's sure. a very, spe- that, that's a very special, that's a very special thing. You know, I, I yeah. like, that's really cool, After, man. I'm about to tear up. <laughs> oh, you're no, you're, you're good. man. He would, he would he, I, I think he would appreciate it. And I, 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 when he when he passed away, you know, it was a it was a very watershed moment in my life. And it was one of those times where after something happens, your life is never the same. So I don't I do not know what my life would have been like if that young man had survived uh, and not passed away that year. Uh, everything changed for me when he died. So it's kind of one of those things where if, if I don't honor it, I think I'd, I feel I'd be, I'd be doing a great disservice, uh, not only to his memory, but also to myself in recognition that that moment kind of, you know, started it all. So, so, so to speak. So, and yeah, you know, it's one of those, uh, he, he was, he was born on November 24th. So every couple oh, of years, wow. every couple of years, his birthday falls on Thanksgiving and then every other year it falls somewhere right on either side of it. You know what I mean? Some, yeah. Sometimes it's the day after, sometimes it's the day before, but yeah, November 24th is a very, that's Thanksgiving time, basically. So yeah, that's the oh, uh, that's that's very that's very cool, man. Yeah. So I yeah. I just I can't I can't get over the fact that 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 this is something that you do. You know, I I don't hear of a lot of people doing something like that. You know, to to commemorate those that they've lost, and, I, and you know, it really brings a spark into your head. You know. Mm-hmm. Well, I I've seen I have seen other people do it here and there on Facebook. I don't have and but. For, for, for anybody that doesn't know or anybody that cares, I, I do not have Instagram. I don't do Twitter. I don't do, I pretty much have Facebook and I have a semi-anonymous account on Reddit. That's all I, for social media, that's all I have. So whoever has me on Facebook, that's pretty much the only people that will ever see me do anything on the internet with my name attached to it, basically. And uh, I have seen other people do it here and there. I do it twice a year, every year, and I've been doing it every year for many years straight now. So I don't know. I'd have to go back and check the, the Facebook archives, but it's, I think I, I set up my account in 2009 and I want to say the first time I did it was probably 2010 or 2011, maybe. So it, it really hasn't been that long. And, you know, it wasn't that long after I got my Facebook account that I started doing it. And then yeah. that's it. That's just, it's just my way of honoring and mem- memorializing uh, my best friend. So, so yeah, I love it, man. I love it. Yeah. I how love was, it. It, how yeah. was your Thanksgiving? What did you, what did man, you, do and what did you eat? Well, you know, ev- you know, what's really great about Thanksgiving is that, uh, the last couple of years, me and my wife have grown into the habit of becoming the Thanksgiving hosts. 
and okay. it's you know cool. it's be you know it's it's been it's been it's a cool little it's a cool little thing to have you know to be oh yeah the host you know because you know because you want you know and let me tell you my wife she she busts tooth and nail kicked us all out the kitchen too man let me tell you and you know you know thanksgiving you know for you know everyone has special you know uh memories for thanksgiving i'm not going to get too dark in here i've had some traumatic events happen to me in thanksgiving and this was actually the first thanksgiving that i had without losing my my closest uncle so it was kind of you know that morning was it was a little was a little bit bittersweet but you know it got better you know uh got my so as being the host, you know, we had my in-laws here, my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, their kids. The, cool. the house is the house is full right now. There's a lot of ch- the, Are people the, still there right now? Oh yeah, oh yeah. The children oh, yeah. outnumber out the adults right now. It's nice. it's we nice. we could be overthrown at any moment. Usually okay? that's, usually, that's usually how it how it starts. That's usually how it happens, yeah. right? The, you know, so. the you know, we have until Tuesday before the mutiny starts. So there you go. I like that. <laughs> you know, but like but that. it's nice. You know, the, all the cousins are together, all the families together. You know, um, playing some video games, talking shit. Um, so to start it off, you know, we had you know, obviously the basics. But you know, with with us, uh, with with the Spanish tradition, we always add a pelni, which is a ham. Um, it's it's a stuffed ham. It's delicious. There's a Oh my God! The way that it's just sliced, the honey dripping—it's like, oh, just can't get enough, basically. What, baby? There's no honey in it. Well, it looks like honey. <laughs> well, what but is it? It looks like honey. <laughs> Sean loves the honey drip. <laughs> All right, it's pork ass with garlic, and what else? Spanish it's just Spanish seasonings. No honey. No, honey. no, no there's honey. no honey in it, guys. No honey. No honey. But, but to John, smoked ass tastes like honey. So <laughs> yes, there like you the go. Honey drift. Smoked ass looks smoked like ass honey. Tastes like honey, right? Tastes that's like honey. It, I mean, I, I, that's what I heard. That's what that's what I heard. You know, John. John likes smoked ass. It tastes damn. Yeah, there you like go. Honey. And uh, you know, so <laughs> we had that. It was dude, that was. <laughs> <laughs> uh it, it was real it was it, that was you know to me that was my favorite meal but you know i personally i love stuffing stuffing is like i like to i like to mix my stuffing mac and cheese and mashed potatoes all together good morning deshaun good morning deshaun welcome to church he's still even you know, even though even though we start two hours two hours ahead deshaun is still with us like had a great time hey, he's, on the show last week buddy the the, pa- the paleo giant is here yeah, the paleo giant is in the house. I love it. Yeah, man, I love it. I love it. And dude, the stuffing was just like, oh. So I mix it with my mac and cheese. I mix it with my mac and cheese, and I mix it with the mashed potatoes all together in like one big thing. Mm-hmm. Sound sounds disgusting, but let me tell you, when you have all that mixture into one like pile of like food, and it's 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 great. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of turkeys. You know, I don't touch the turkey usually. I didn't, you know, I didn't have any turkey this time, but you know, I go for the ham every single time, every single time. But other than that, we've been having, we've been having some good times. We've been playing some board games yesterday. Um, we partook <clears throat> in uh, the game that we played with the Packy hot chip. We played I descent. Okay. Okay. You know, which go? was fun. It, it was, it was, all, it was all right. It was pretty fun, you know, kind of confusing, but then we played, the hot seat what's that game what is that game about pretty much you pick a card and you have to know the person and let me tell you if you if you know if you know the person well enough eh, you can you can get pretty personal and pretty and, and pinch their soul what do you mean like know the person like you have to play with people that you know is that what you're saying yes so i'll pull out a card right now okay so like the the game the game would go like I'm in the hot seat. Okay. So I I so we all write something, right? So the okay. question is what is something I enjoy that's not typical for my age group? So I would write an answer. You would write an answer. Okay. Then other people would write the an answer and then we put it in like a hat and I would say all the answers and we would have to figure out what my answer was. Like which one did I choose? Which one you actually wrote? Yeah. 
Okay. And you you know, but there were some really like so it's kind of like it's kind of like a, a a clean but potentially embarrassing version of um what's that one where like it's like totally it's like a no it's like a terrible Cards Against Humanity. Yes, kind of like yes. a personalized it, personalized version of uh, Cards Against Humanity. Is that kind of what it is? Yeah, and it's 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 hilarious. There were some there were some very interesting moments, and it was just like, oh man, fights could happen. Let me tell you, fights could happen. Fights could happen. But it, 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 listen, guys, you got to play. And uh, and look, now that I know that there's a not safe for work pack, I'm gonna, I'm go. gonna look for it. There I'm you go, man. But you know, there's, yeah. there's been a lot. Like, right down. Write it, write down, write down your, your number, right? Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, like that's a, that, that sounds like a Thanksgiving, uh, family reunion that like, it's about to go really, really wrong with that. Not safe, not safe for work condition. Right. Like, you know, it'd be a Thanksgiving holiday where, uh, everybody, almost, everybody gets into like the, the good old fashioned, uh, Festivus brawl, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. But it was good. Thanksgiving, you know, it was a, uh, you know, 10 out of 10, you know, cool. everyone was having a good time. Everyone was happy. Everyone was eating. Good. You know, I, I'm still. Good. You know, my stomach. My stomach's been hurting, and I've been going. And I went to work the next day on Black Friday, which is going to start our next conversation. I was say, tell me about being. Tell me about being in retail. Uh, I I saw and read <clears throat> that Black Friday kind of turned into a big disappointment for a lot of the companies this year. Like, what was your experience? In retail on Black Friday, I um, I actually you're going to be surprised because okay, so I don't know how it was for you, but for me, growing up in the East Coast where we are, you know, crowded and we build up, not out, right? There, there was always people waiting outside the day prior. As soon as as soon as you the tradition was as soon as you finished eating Thanksgiving dinner, you went to Circuit City. The Wiz, um, you know, Walmart, Target, wherever, mm-hmm. and there would be people there waiting already. They'd have their chairs. It became like they'd... it be- over the years. It became like a new holiday unto itself, except it was completely manufactured by retailers, basically to to have this day after Thanksgiving, whatever, like extravaganza shopping, whatever the fuck, right? So and it's what- fun. It, 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 it absolutely can be. I, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the whole four o'clock in the fucking morning standing out in the yeah. freezing, whatever, like just to go inside of a store that I can go into any other day of the week. But, absolutely. but I get it. But I get it. My, my mom for many years kind of participated in Black Friday back in the, oh my God, the heyday of the 90s and going into the 2000s. You know what I mean? It, it, became, it became like a sport, it became like a sport for them. You know what I mean? But it's like last few years, man, it's just gotten, I don't know. It's just, there ain't nothing. I don't know. I don't know. What, what did you see? What did you see in Target on Friday? I'm curious. So, so, like, so I didn't see anybody. Everything was filled. You know the the. So what's a lot of retail stores? They figured they started doing Black Friday week, which I guess like during the coronavirus, this was a big thing that happened last year that they started doing. I was now, going to say. I want to say that it, the beginning of the end was when it stopped becoming Black Friday and it, like they started yes. opening stores on like fucking Thanksgiving and it's like. Nobody yes. wants to go fucking shopping on Thanksgiving, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, like, and you, and you know what? I actually have to say because like I work I work for Target, and what's very interesting is that now they've just announced that every Thanksgiving Target will be closed. Like good and good, you know that's, that's like as much as as much as I as much as I love to shit talk corporate conglomerates, man. Like that's one decision I can stand by that they actually made. Like let your fucking employees have their fucking holidays. You know what I mean? Like seriously, like it's. Yeah. You, you're already asking a lot of them to be there away from their families on certain days anyways. Um, taking like a day like Thanksgiving away from them as well is just kind of like shitty. Um, I, I remember specifically there was a year I worked, I was 21. I was 21 and I had, to, I worked at, I was working at a movie theater paying rent. So I was making five, five fucking 15 an hour paying rent already on the fucking struggle bus as far as like money is concerned. Right. And they created this policy around Christmas time where it's, if you no call, no showed you were fired on like Christmas Eve, Christmas day, day after yeah. Christmas, whatever. So I was like, they told us about it like two weeks in advance. And you know what I did? I no call, no showed. 
Like just to be a just to be a fuck just to be a fucking dick. You know what I mean? Like because because fuck them. You're not you're, you're not gonna you're not gonna force me making five dollars and fifteen cents a fucking hour to come in and fucking jerk jerk off the customers on fucking Christmas Eve. You know what I'm saying? Fucking good morning, Ronnie. Hope you are doing well, my friend. I hope you are doing well. Welcome to church, homie. Um, and yeah, so I I remember I remember the next week I went in to get my last paycheck and the fucking general manager of the of the store, who by the way was a good a good enough dude for the for the most part, he was a good enough dude. Yeah. He's like, he's like, Jay, why'd you do it? And I, I literally looked at this grown man dead in the eyes. I was like, I wanted to spend the family with or the holidays with my fucking family, bro. That's it. That's like that's why you got no call, no showed because you were got you guys were gonna schedule me no matter no matter fucking what. So fuck you anyways. You know, and if, yeah. you're, if, if you're if your policy is that I get fired because I know I get no call, no call, no showed. Guess what? You just gave me fucking unemployment if I need it. Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. You just gave me fucking. You just gave me a free out of your shitty job. So that's so I was I was 21 years old. I took the free out. I, that's honestly what I did. I was like, fuck, fuck their bottom line. Fuck the customers. You know, like I understand why people go see movies around Christmas time. Don't get me wrong, but fuck the customers. Yeah. I never gave a, I never gave a fuck about them anyways. And definitely fuck the fucking fuck the companies. Period. Like they, they don't own me. That, they, they don't own that, me. They don't own my memories. Like they are so fucking greedy, bro. They're and greedy. Fuck. It, and that's they how, lost. That's how, Black, that's how Black Friday started. Was companies being greedy as fuck? I mean, that's yeah, really how it all you, started. They, like, and they lost. They lost. I have to this say, this year it was sounds a, like they did. So you're, no, you're, you're I, telling me, you're telling me Target was like Target was like a ghost town, basically. Yeah, dude. It wasn't. It, there was there must have been a pocket of time okay so all week people were getting the tv so it was just like any other normal day now online shopping is a it's a, it black friday is a blood sport listen people have gotten killed on black friday for playstations this oh, is dude. not you know this it, it, is oh yeah people have gotten trampled on killed on for tvs and i guess like that came let me see in, if i can, find, know, let me see that, if I can that, find the nation let me see if i can find the nationwide body count for fucking black friday no way, Ronnie. Did you really? Ronnie got a Series X or a Series S. What's the, what's Series S? Is that the new that, shit? No, no, that's the new one. That's the okay, new one. He's good. joined. Good for you, he's Ronnie. joined the dark side. He's joined oh, the dark yeah, side. I, I wish you all the best with that, man. You're gonna have to fucking. You're gonna have to give us a fucking uh, a, a review on it um, at some hey, point, Ronnie. We appreciate yeah, and it. Let, and let me and let me know. Let me know uh, what's up with that battlefield, bro. Let me know. We waiting, uh, but yeah, man. You know, it, so what was interesting? What the most interesting thing to me is that on the actual day of Black Friday, mm -hmm. there was nothing. There was nothing. My wife drove me. There was people. In, there was there was people in you know in their cars. You know, already inside the store. By the time I got to work, the store was already open, and it wasn't. It wasn't crazy. It wasn't crazy at all. Now online shopping, it. Was is a whole different conversation because well, right? You know, when it comes to online shopping, you know, we got Cyber Monday coming tomorrow, right. tomorrow, and you and know, so, I'm oh, yeah, okay. There's literally okay, so there's literally a website called BlackFridayDeathCount.com, and <laughs> Shit. there have been, according to this website, you look there up, have been BlackFridayDeathCount.com. According to this website, there have been 17 deaths, 125 injuries. But here's the interesting part. None of it started until about 2006. So the, the, the injury and death count really didn't start until about, which, if, which if, if I'm remembering correctly, that's about when shit started getting really, really nuts on Black Friday. It was like motherfuckers were like spending the night. Thank you very much, Joe. That's it right there. So yeah, and, if you, and Joe, if you scroll down, you can see, you can see down there, a lot of this doesn't really, none of this starts until the mid 2000s. Like th this doesn't really start till the mid two thousand. There's some honorable mentions at the bottom. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> honorable mentions. Yeah, Jesus like, you Christ. Know, like an, yeah, like an employee suicide at a fucking Joanne. You know what I mean? Oh, like, Jesus I mean, I, I get Christ. it. Dude. Like, I get it. Like, but see, like, the, oh the, my the, god, man stabs coworker at Costco. Holy when the, shit! When, when the when the holiday that the multinational corporate conglomerates create cause people to fucking die. That tells you all you need to know about the fucking holiday. The holiday is not even fucking four decades old. I think the, the I think boat. the first mention the first mention of Black Friday from a consumerist standpoint was in 1981. I was just reading this yesterday. the The first time Black Friday has been used in relation to the day after 
Thanksgiving was in the 1950s, but that was because so many people called in sick the day after Thanksgiving from having too much fun at Thanksgiving, right? But that was back in the 50s. Somewhere, somewhere in the somewhere in the 19 early 1980s, it was mentioned as the consumer day, basically like the, the consumer material hoarding Christmas present buying whatever the day after Thanksgiving. So I'm really I'm still really interested in the fact that so you went in so you go so you go into work on Black Friday kind of expecting the hoard and you got what like crickets chirping just a regular, it was just a regular day except just a regular for online day. shopping. So so it was basically just whoever hadn't made it around to Target that week, basically like a regular Friday yep. anyways. Yeah, but let me tell you, everyone was online shopping. That that's you know, on the on the regular day we get anywhere between three hundred to seven hundred orders. We had about almost close to two thousand. We have a note. Black from, Friday shopping. Yeah. Yeah, we have a note from our producer that shopping dropped on Black Friday by twenty eight percent this year. And, and you know what? Um, we we here at, D, at GD two fourteen gaming do try to stay as apolitical as possible and not get too crazy about it but if, if you've been if you've watched this and been with us long enough you know that i'm a i am not a passive hater when it comes to corporations and what money does to the systems that we have in place in our in our world to keep us civil civilized and um i say good i say yeah. fucking good i say i hope i hope black friday goes away i hope it dies of fucking, uh, a fucking a massively painful death I hope corporations suffer, and I hope to see I hope to see CEOs on fucking welfare someday. I really fucking do. It's gonna um, happen. It's gonna I happen. Do. I do. I, I swear to God. I, I think there. I think there are generation CEOs and CEOs and these all these rich fucks are our generation's version of fucking like you know Marie Antoinette, basically telling all of us to fucking go ahead and eat cake when we fucking when we're fucking you know hanging out hanging out living off of like struggle meals and shit. You know what I mean? Like. Exploiting, explo yeah. exploiting, exploit, exploiting your consumer base will never lead to anything good. So, and, and your employees too. Oh, especially the employees. The employees times two. Like, like the, yeah. it's like it's already bad enough for the consumer. You're literally just talking about the endpoint consumer. Those customers in you know here in the middle, the 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 employees of the of those corporations are getting fucked because they're working low paying jobs with. A lot of times, no fucking, uh, what do you call it? Goddamn, um, no benefits, no fucking, a lot, a lot of times, depending on where, which company you work for, how long you've been there, you might be making the same, about the same you were making, you know, two years ago. And they, they, they give you like a fucking, a 50 cent raise, you know, to try to pretend that they're cool. But, oh, that, that shitty movie theater I was work I worked at almost 20 years ago. I, I, I made five fifteen an hour. They gave me a raise. Oh. Cat, I'm going to fucking skin you alive. Just letting you know right now. I'm going to fucking... Hey, kitty cat, have you ever seen the book of Eli? Have you ever seen the very beginning of the book of Eli? Have you seen that shit? That's going to be you soon. All right? So anyways, uh, the, uh, the, 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 movie, the, movie, the movie theater the movie theater I worked at was goddamn... Um, they gave me a raise one time. You know what they gave me a raise to from 515? 535. Oh, Jesus Christ. They gave me a 20... I was making five fifteen an hour. They gave me a twenty cent. You you wonder why I quit on Christmas Eve? Why I like why I no call no yeah. show? That shit's a slap in the face, dude. What what is twenty cents times forty hours? I'll I'll do the math for you. It's eight fucking That's... dollars, eight bucks a fucking week. So that like they're they're raised to me for being one of their hardest workers. Obviously, like even even, even being at a movie theater, their raise was fucking thirty two bucks a month. Like that's a that's a raise. Like I'm supposed to be fucking thankful to you for that. Like go fuck <clears throat> yourself, dude. Like go that fuck yourself, man. Shit. That don't worry. Shit. Don't worry. Don't worry. Jay's got it. Jay's got it all figured out, except how to fucking live a normal life in the fucking modern world. There you go. <laughs> you'll get there, man. You'll you'll get there, man. You're still one of the one of the more old school guys I I know. I mean, you use Facebook on your browser instead of a of an application. <laughs> there's a reason. There's a reason for that. Yeah, you, you did explain I'm, that to me. I am I am probably one of the last Facebook users that Facebook doesn't have everything that's on my phone right now because I do not <laughs> use the app. I refuse to fucking download a Facebook app on my, onto my phone. So yes, I use it on a browser. Yeah. So, the, hey, mean, that's old school, man. 
Yeah. Uh, and I love, so- I love, I love how we've got, um, I love how we've got some comments, some uh, Deshaun, Deshaun and Ronnie are going off in our comments talking about the, uh, the new stuff. And I'm glad to see you guys getting together on that, man. Like, that's good. Like this, it, this is absolutely what we encourage here. I want, and, and you want, know what we this, do, you know? Go ahead, John. We have like we're always talking about like how fucked these companies are. Like, and Sony has been fucking us over with the cell phone game, and I need to be able to play my PS5 with a stable connection. Microsoft is winning in the next advancement, mobile gaming. See, it's I don't over, know, y'all. I don't know, and see, that's the thing. Like, I never got into the mobile gaming thing, so I don't even know. Well, what he's talking about is that you can play all your games. You can play your Call of Duty. You can play oh, your I'm Battlefield. Tracking. All of your phone. Oh yeah, I'm tracking. I'm I'm, I'm tracking. That's just. I don't know that, that that advancement is ever going to speak to me. I don't know that I can yeah. sit on my phone. Like, this thing is not that big. I can, I cannot imagine trying to snipe somebody on Call of Duty with, what a, if screen, it was an with iPad? a screen with a screen this small. You know what I mean? Like, how do you see the players across the map? I can barely see them on my giant-ass TV that I'm sitting, like, five inches from. You know what I mean? Like, how in the fuck do you see people across the map on these the tiny-ass screens? Like... Do you, do you do you wear like these big giant fucking like reverse binoculars or whatever? I I, I don't fucking know. Like I, I you mo- the mobile gamers have got a leg up on me, dude. Because like that ain't I use I use this thing for like a, a precious a few things. I use it phone calls, texting, porn. That's about it. I, I, the list gets pretty fucking short after that. You know what I'm saying? So yep. just saying. So. Uh- yeah, yep, Joe, show that laser those, those, things, wrote. those things are clutch. That's pretty much all, all that I need to survive right now is food food and porn. So <laughs> absolutely. So we are so I want to talk to you guys about something that came up um around Thanksgiving. I actually think it was like the day after. Maybe maybe it was Black Friday. Uh are you familiar with who Mr. Beast is? I am actually because of my daughters, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah. So I, I yeah. am aware of Mr. Beast because of my children too. And should, that, sp- speaking of which, like, I don't know if we need to have this talk on, 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 offline or if we can do it live on the on the show or not. But is it just me as a parent, or is YouTube really fucking scary? Like, I'm about ready to fucking delete YouTube off my fucking TVs, dude, because like, there's shit on there that my kids somehow fucking find or yeah. they get access to it. Yeah. I'll walk in, I'll walk into the room and I'm like, what in the actual fucker? And it, there's no, there's no cursing. There's no horror, horror show images. There's no blood. It's nothing. It's nothing like that. It's, it's just, subliminal that shit. it's, it's like they're watching literal noise. It's like the only way yeah. I can describe it is like they, they literally are watching like noise that just disrupts the fucking, the flow of their brains. That's yeah. the only way I can describe yeah. some of the shit that's on you. Cause I'm like, how do you just sit there and watch like eight minutes of, of screaming and, and adults acting like fucking adults acting like brain damaged children? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, like yeah. seriously, that, that, that's what, it's what a lot of them. No, no. Now this that could also be conversation. Me being, well, and, and this could also me being me turning into my dad, right? This could also be me turning into my dad. It's so, like the shit that I liked, but see, here's the thing. When I was a kid, I remember my parents watching TV shows with me. Some of the TV shows that I liked wa- watching, I remember my parents watching with me. Like, I've sat down and tried to watch a couple of things. There's a there's a streamer. I think it's Sniper Wolf. There's a, a female, okay, yeah, a, a woman. You know, very very pretty young lady, but she she's called Sniper Wolf. And you know, the the uh, c- correction from our producer: YouTube is not the devil. Your co-host is okay. Okay, YouTube would be like the Antichrist, basically, like you know, heralding the return. Okay. So that's why that's why I got on YouTube finally. Okay, just so I can announce my presence when the time has come, right? But right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but hey, no, but you know what? We <clears throat> we should probably dedicate a whole episode on 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 that because there is there is a lot of shit about because there are things that I've even walked into my that my kids were watching that you can easily find even on YouTube kids, you know, Sonic yep. the Hedgehog biting the heads off of children and shit like that, have, you know. I I I've walked in on them watching I would say what I would call inappropriate, inappropriate cartoons, basically on on YouTube that that, that had no yeah yeah had no had no uh, parental warnings or no anything like that and and I also want to say too being being that it is 2021 and and how far removed we are from my childhood in the 1980s they have kind of figured out a lot of shit on how to suck people and draw people in as far as content and 
you know, images that they show and stuff like that. There used to be rule. There used to be rules in movies about making split second cuts and showing stuff like popcorn and Coke because it was, it's like subliminal advertising. Right. And if you watch a lot of these YouTube, you know, videos, they have these like extremely fast, like fight club esque cuts of shit that they're doing. And it happens extremely fast. And the kids are just fucking absorbing all of it. Yeah. And then, and then you wonder why, like two days later, your kid's asking you for something you've never fucking heard of. I'm like, well, I saw it on YouTube. I'm like, we don't even want, we don't even have commercials. How the fuck did you even hear about anything? We don't have regular TV. We don't watch commercials. We don't do yeah. a lot of that shit. How the fuck are my kids asking me for shit that like, I've never even seen or heard of anywhere, yeah. let alone. It's, it it, it ah. is. They found, they found the way to add commercial. The, 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 ad, the ads are, are the modern day commercials. So that's, well, the, that's well, 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 the, the ads are the, are the, are the ballless soulless suckers of Satan's cock that are putting the content out like that. Who's that fucking FGTV? FGTV, that whole fucking dude, that whole fucking family. If there's a fucking hell, that whole fucking family is going because of that fucking the, the dad and the mom are like the biggest suckers of Satan's cock. Dude, I've seen these fucking these people have like I mean, fucking poison Walmart. I I know exactly who you're talking about, and the father looks like he's about to croak dead in every video. Dude, the, that the, they the, do. the, the dude, guy the looks dude, like he doesn't sleep. The dude, the dude, the dude looks. The dude looks like a fucking. The dude looks like a, like a fucking thirty year old dude who's been smoking meth like nonstop for like the last ten years. Like, yeah. and and their their whole family is like cracked out. They do the the weirdest shit. They like they'll fill their whole fucking living room with like a, a swimming pool with like those little uh, rubberized the Orbeez, like, Yeah. Oh my god! Like wh- why? Like I don't. And whatever. It's basically basically everything they do is an advertisement for the shit that they use in their videos. And if that if that's not sucking Satan's pecker, I don't know what it is. Okay, like people people think I'm such a fucking bad guy because I know how to fucking like shoot a gun and I'm not afraid to fucking do it against other human beings, right? Like, what about that cocksucker that's like ruining a whole fucking generation and teaching and teaching kids that it's okay to be wasteful with all the shit that he buys? You know what I mean? That dude is going to fucking hell. Like, and I can't wait to fucking see him there because I would beat his yeah. ass, dude. Like, happily, dude. That dude is a straight fucking cocksucker, dude. And he, and he looks like a fucking. I have meth to head. agree. And he looks like a meth head chomo. He really fucking does. The I, dude looks like I, a fucking cracked out chomo. He really. Fu- I have to like, agree. I like if, if if tomorrow the news came out that they found out that dude had been like fucking like chomo and shit up, like that'd be the least surprising news I'd ever fucking heard. Is like the father of the FGTV bullshit got arrested for some fucking for some fucking bad shit, right? Like that'd be the least surprising news I'd ever fucking hear because the dude looks like. The dude looks sketchy as fuck. He straight looks sketchy as fuck. Uh, there, there is a kid friendly version. Uh, our, our producer just asked us if, if there's a kid friendly version of YouTube. That's the problem. There is, and my kids are supposed to be on it, and but it doesn't work. It doesn't my old, work. My, my oldest has already found out, found ways around it, and my youngest still finds videos that have extremely questionable content on it. So it's like they tell you as a parent, you know, there's no rule book. It's going to be a struggle, and a lot of times it is, obviously. Here's the thing, though. Here's what they don't tell you about being a parent. They tell you about, like, you know, managing your kid's internet content and shit. It's, like, it's extremely difficult because the the, the their, their friends, their, their, kid, their friends at school are going to show them their little workarounds, you know. And our kids are a lot smarter than we were at that age because they've grown up with so much more. So they find these workarounds and these companies like YouTube, Facebook, uh, Google, Amazon, all the, they don't give a fuck about the rules. They give a fuck about your money. And at the end of the day, they're just creating all they're doing with the new generation, with the, with the children, all they're doing is creating a new generation of customers, you know? And, and, and if, and if you can put that into your head, when you see all this bullshit, like F, FGTV with the fucking meth head dad, you know what I mean? Like all they're doing is, is making YouTube video commercials for all the bullshit they do in their videos. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and yeah, and and our producer, our producer just brought up an excellent point. You know, think of all the demographic info they have on our kids. That's exactly right. That's yeah. exactly right. And uh, and now we're, um, while we're talking, while we're in the conversation of of YouTubers, so you know, Mr. Beast, he's got the Mr. Beast burger. Mm-hmm. But now you now you watch Squid Games, right? Did you finish it? Yes, I did. I did. Mm-hmm. I did. Okay, so he recreated. Hey, can you go? I think I think we could actually play the video on YouTube. How long um, is it? How long is it? Well, we're not. Well, we're not going to play the whole thing, but no, no, no. no. But I mean, like, yeah, I was going to say, like, th- it, we- yeah, it, it's thirty minutes. <laughs> it, it's a thirty-minute video, but he took the time and he recreated every single game from Squid Game. 
That's another. That's another like little sucker of Satan's cock. I've I've watched oh, a yeah. couple of his, I've watched a couple of his videos, and what he does in his videos, it looks like easy. Like we, I I went back into the archives. I was listening to some of our early earlier season two stuff uh, the last couple of days. Um, we actually discussed exploitation and how much you know what you know. Everybody has a price for the million dollar man. You know, you remember you remember we were having yeah. that conversation. Everybody's got a price. I've even I've even said myself like my price is ten million dollars. If somebody gave me ten million dollars right now. I would probably just press pause on my entire life, you know, and I'd probably be done for a while. You know what I mean? I would just be chilling yeah. for a while, right? Which is which is fine. Mr. Beast basically kind of makes that happen, but he doesn't make it happen for for life. He he does shit like five, ten thousand dollars, twenty five thousand dollars, you know, and he has these challenges. But what it really comes down to is it's fucking exploitation. He's literally like making people do embarrassing ass shit, and sometimes even rough shit. I saw one one of the episodes is like. It's like a survival. Like they have to stay within like a circle for how, for like, and the person who stays in the circle the longest and they keep making yes. the circle smaller, you know? And so it's like all these people crammed into this like spot for like days at a time, literally literal days at a time, just to win, like whatever the prize was like 20 G's, 30 G's, whatever. Um, Joe, go ahead and bring that clip up if you've got it, you know, like, yeah. so anyway, so he, so he recreates, he recreates squid games. So please continue. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. This was the tug of war. So oh, obviously, God, yeah. No, uh, yeah. Obviously, no one gets no killed. No one's dying, right? It. Yeah. No one gets right. killed. But it, it, they actually. But look at the set. Look at the whole set. This dude is a corporate cocksucker. Like, look, 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 yeah. look at that sniveling little bitch. Like, would you, would you let a man with a fucking shitty ass beard like that, like, tell you to do anything, no. even for money? No, I'd tell him to get no. fucked, dude. I would tell him to get the fuck off my get the fuck off my porch and get the fuck off my lawn, dude. Like, yeah. look at that. He's wearing like a fucking what is that? Like a raincoat or a trench coat? Who the fuck? He's he's wearing the jacket. What are you, what are you, what are you fucking show. neo? What are you fucking neo, bro? It's fucking nineteen ninety nine again. Like, dude, like a hey, 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 dude, fucking Columbine happened twenty fucking years ago, bro. Like, you look like a fuck. This guy looks like a fucking chomo. How come? How come everybody on fucking YouTube that's a YouTube star looks like a fucking chomo? Like where the fuck are all the G's at, man? Like wh- what? What the fuck happened? Is a G. What? Doctor disrespect fuck- is a G. Dude, I'm 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 losing my shit already. Like like I'm 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 out of my fucking brain. I'm like I'm already in a bad headspace here. Like, what the fuck ever happened to being professional, and being gangster? Like wh- like wh- wh- when did that go out of style? Like it's like everybody looks like these unfucking just finished pieces of shit. Like. Ronnie J is a fucking G. That that motherfucker, that's a real motherfucking G right there. Like as as Easy E would say, that's a real motherfucking G right there. Ronnie, you you are right about that. But where the fuck where the fuck is the rest of them? I, like where are they on YouTube? Somebody show me a motherfucking G on YouTube, like a real motherfucking G. I want to see that shit. Let me, let me see that motherfucking YouTube show. I'll watch that shit. You know, oh, like man. somebody comes up fucking asking for money for fucking crack, and you're just like, nope, that's some G oh, shit. Oh. Oh, That's is that the making of the studio? See, who's got the money for this? Who's paying all those fucking workers? It ain't fucking Mr. Beast. How does he have that money? Actually, he a- that actually, money? actually, he he owns a fast food chain. What does he own? How old? The how Mr. old is that? How old is that kid? Yeah, how old is he? How, he, how like, does he own he, anything? He's what in, the fuck, he's did, in his what the fuck did that kid do to get his money? That's what I want. Or or was it? Let me let me take a wild guess. His parents twenty three. So, so you mean 20, his fucking parents? So his parents owned restaurants. His parents had money, and he grew up fucking no, doing no, whatever no, he the fuck opened, he wanted or what? He opened. He opened the Beast oh, Burger. On. He opened it. He opened what? What is it called? It's called the Beast Burger. They oh, just. What? It's a brand. It's a brand new establishment. This dude sounds like such a fucking shit stain, dude. This dude net, like, what, net, what did he do? What did what did Jimmy Donaldson? What did Mister Beast Jimmy Donaldson do to earn his fucking money? Where did he start? Somebody show me where the fuck he started. What did he do? Daddy. daddy. It was exactly daddy. Right. Okay. That's what I okay. thought. Makes daddy. sense. All of these, all these corporate, all these corporate suckers of Satan's cock have the same fucking backstory. Their fucking parents fucking gave them their money. That's it. Anybody ever heard of the fucking Kardashian whores? Yeah, their parents fucking made them money. Fucking the Hiltons, their fucking parents oh, made them was, money. The that, fucking, that was his op-ed. The fu- the fucking Trumps. Their fucking daddies all gave them fucking money. Okay, I don't give a fuck who they are. They're all fucking. They're all corporate. Oh, here we go. Satan's cock. At the age of thirteen, 
He started he started posting videos to YouTube in 2013. Wow. So this wow, is I joined the army in 2012. Say again. I joined the army in 2012. So ah. while this motherfucker was posting YouTube videos, I was getting yelled at by drill sergeants. Right. Eighth most subscribed channel on YouTube. Bitch. Okay. I mean, I'll get. I, I will get. I will give him this and this only. I will give him this and this only. It 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 would appear that he is kind of self made on YouTube. So I'll give him being self made on YouTube. But look at what he did. Look at what he did on YouTube to get self-made. It's self-exploitation, right? No, you're right. right. You're right. You're I selling mean, your soul. I mean, that's that's. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get all emotional and fucking rage. Rage out. So fuck. Fuck him yeah. too. Fuck Mr. So, Beast too. So, yeah, so, <laughs> we have a, so we have a quick. Oh, you know what? Yeah, tracking that. I think. I think. I think Joe's right on that. Yeah, and yeah, and that is, yeah, yeah. And, and our our producer made a funny little comment. He says you're you're just mad you ain't rich like him. I'll be like, check it out. Here's here's what I will say to that. So for anyone who thinks I'm being a hater just because they're fucking rich, there I do have a price, and there are things I would do for money, up to a certain point and up to a certain extent. I think what a lot of people don't realize is there's people probably like me and a lot of other people that are probably like me. Where you just handing me ten thousand dollars doesn't mean I'm like I'll probably just stare at you and be like, you're not going to get a piece of my soul for that ten dollars. I'm not going to lick the bottom of your shoe. If you hand me a brick of cash and say lick the bottom of my shoe, I'm going to tell you to fuck yourself and probably punch you in the face. Seriously, but would you play Squid Games for four hundred and fifty six thousand dollars? No, no, no. Even if you live, no, no, absolutely not. No, because no, because the odds are the odds are not there. That that means I have a one in four hundred fifty six. That, that means I have a one in four hundred fifty six chance of getting anything really, and 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 there's a one hundred percent chance that I'm going to be exploited and probably embarrassed in the process. If I wanted to fucking have those mm -hmm. odds, I just fucking rejoin the army. I could see that. I mean, seriously. I mean, <laughs> yeah. fucking seriously. Like four hundred fifty six. That's about the odds I had of being fucking selected uh, when I went to when I went to selection the two times. I mean, that's about like there was about four hundred people there the whole the, both times I went, and out of those four hundred people, probably about. 25 to 40 percent got selected so i even had a better shot i had a better shot of going to the q course you know for special forces than i have of winning a stupid fucking game for a stupid fucking youtuber you know what i mean like, I, I i get it i get it i get it i mean so i mean th now now that being said i am going to be fair here there is stuff i will do for money there is stuff i will do for money and that's and that's something that you know what I'm not. What I'm not going to do is let you make a fucking video and embarrass me. You know what I mean? Embarrass me for the world to see. Probably for that for that money, and 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 that's true. That's true, Joe. Twenty bucks is twenty bucks. You got to make the twenty bucks worth it, though. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit there and like. I'm not gonna sit there and fucking sell my soul for fucking for 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 ten Gs just because just because you want to make a funny video and and exploit me on the internet. Like I can exploit myself on the internet for free, right? So yeah, fuck that. I mean, I mean, we're doing it now, kind of. We are, we are. So, so yeah. All right. So uh, a couple weeks ago, about two, we're going on. We're going on to the second week. Um, G four is back on the air. It came back on awesome. uh, no, yep November. I believe it was November sixteenth. Okay. And and let me tell you, man, it's it kicked off. It kicked off with a really with with a bang. There was a Thanksgiving special. Okay. They had a special called The Vault where they went back in time. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. You're welcome, Desmond. Yeah, because we cause we, we, we we talked about this, didn't did we not? Yeah, and it it's a major success. Good. It's a major success. And let me tell you. Um, one of my favorite things about it, I actually have it running on my TV right now. I, I'm mm -hmm. not even going to lie. It's been on my TV like Seinfeld has been on my TV 24 hours a day. Um, so since it's back, they've had some original programming. They've had some specials. One of my favorite shows is this one show where they go back and they look at the early years of G4 and they play a bunch of old clips from them. So it's 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 good content for them now that since they already have it and they own it and they can use it. So it's 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 a it's a refresher. We saw we saw people return like Kevin Pereira and Olivia Munn. 
um shows come back like attack of the show and x play which are way are look way more immersive and and more updated than what they look like years ago uh it's it's very special and i couldn't be more excited for it for it to be back man um if you if you have it's on it's on um joe can you look up for me which uh services it's on uh jay you're muted You you didn't miss anything. I was bitching at the cat. Ah, <laughs> cat cat knocked over my fucking microphone again. So she's gonna she's gonna she's gonna end up on a on my on my plate when I make some uh, some mugu guy pan tonight, right? <laughs> oh wait, all right, hold up, wait a minute, Joe. It is back. It is back. I, I have a I have a, I have a question um, about some of their content. So that are they gonna do shows where like they're you're watching somebody play a video game? Or yeah, like, no, they, so like, they actually they just had that on. Just they actually have it cool. on right now. What were they? You go what, are they what, what, what are they playing? What are they playing? I, I, it looks like The Witcher. Let me see. Because I have a, I have a, I have a special announcement for, I have a special announcement for some of our our, our viewers. Yeah, th this is this is some type of like uh, the Witcher game of some sort. I I, it, I can't tell. It's some kind of like fantasy MMO. So I've, I've, I have a special announcement. Um, in addition to season three coming up um, shortly, here we will be moving finally and officially to Kansas City, Missouri. We'll be here for good. Probably gonna have a little bit more time on our plates, God willing. And what I would like to do is I'm going to get back onto Twitch. I believe Twitch, but me and John will probably talk about it. We will find a good streaming platform. Uh, I've never been a big game streamer, but I heavily fell in love with this game, Ghost of Tsushima, last year. I have been playing it pretty regularly lately, as, as of late. Um, I'm going to do a special stream for additional content, basically, for Season 3. I am going to do the Kurosawa mode on Ghost of Tsushima, which means it will be in black and white, like, a, like an Akira Kurosawa movie. And I'm going to play it on the most extreme difficulty, which basically means if you get hit once, like you, you, if you get tagged at all in the game, you die. So it's going to be a long, it's going to be a long gameplay. It's going to be like several weeks, probably of me playing in, you know, 30 minutes to a, you know, a few hours, you know, here and there, but we're going to go through the entire yeah. fucking game of Ghost of Tsushima on the, on the most extreme difficulty in kurosawa mode in black and white so that's going to be my kind of contribution to the dd214 gaming content yeah. world i will be streaming the entire game on the most extreme difficulty setting in kurosawa mode i hope everybody enjoys it we're not getting to kansas city until the middle of december so don't expect it probably until after christmas possibly after new year's probably after new year's but we are going to uh, Deshaun, I did not get the director's cut yet. Um, I'm getting ready to move states and I just got out of the army. So, uh, it's all about that cheddar, baby. It's all about that cheddar, right? So, it's time to put yourself up in the corner, Jay. I know, man. I do. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it's going to be, I think it's going to be fun. I, I think Ghost of Tsushima is a, a good, a good enough looking game that watching, watching someone else play a game can actually be kind of fun. You know what I mean? If, especially if they're competent and halfway decent, you know what I mean? Like I, I'm assuming there's probably two types of streamers, right? The ones who are really, really good and kick fucking ass and the ones who just suck absolute dog shit. And it's funny to watch them suck, right? There's probably not too many people in the, in the middle that get a lot of, get, probably get a lot of views. So you either got to be really good or probably really bad to make it as a streamer. I have to assume. Like if, dude, like if we were streaming, like we, we had fun. We had a lot of fun, but it was like. Oh, yeah. I actually have some, I actually have some cuts I'm working on actually with, with, with the Halo game that I played with Chance and Marie that's going to be coming out good. soon. Good, good, good. I like that. I like that. And, and and that's and that's another thing. I need. I do need to get back into the – I need to get the Game Pass. I need to get – a lot of this stuff is going to basically happen after we get to Kansas City in two and a half hey, let, me, let me tell so, you, when you when you, when you you get that Game Pass, you got to get Avengers. I am – Yeah. I am. Ah. That is not nah, – that's – I don't think so, dude. That's Those games yeah. are not – those games are really I, – I, I hate to say it, man – doesn't mean they're bad games. It, they, those those types of no, games. No, yeah. Gen generally speaking, those types of games are just not my cup of tea. At not all. your style. Yeah, ex no. just like you know, like like I wouldn't, I wouldn't. The, Kansas City, your bus. That's right. It's true. It's truth. I need to get the. I need to get. I, I, wish, oh. I wish. I wish we could stay out here right fucking now. I really, really do. I, I unfortunately still have business to attend to in Colorado for the next couple of weeks. But 
if if I had a fucking choice, I would just stay here right now. I, I'm I'm All sick of I'm sick of driving. I'm sick I'm sick of city. fucking Colorado, and it's fucking overpriced ass fucking state. Like, like just because fucking reefer's legal out there doesn't make it fucking special. Trust me, it's that, like that's what makes it expensive. It, it did. It's it, everything out there is fucking. Like, I don't even know how to describe the difference in regular price shit between Colorado and Missouri because. And and it's really true. Colorado is right now. Colorado's Colorado's extremely overrated. Colorado is like it reminds me of Arizona in the nineteen eighties when everybody from California started moving to Arizona in the eighties. Fucking that's it's what it reminds me of. Like people are moving people are moving there in droves, but they're not bringing anything. Like yeah. the state it's the state itself is beautiful. It's a beautiful state. You know, you've got plains in the east. You've got the mountains. You 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 hit the mountains. You drive into the mountains. It's some of the most spectacular scenery on a daily basis you'll probably ever see in your life. But overrated as fuck, man. Like I can smoke weed anywhere. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't, I don't need. I don't need. I don't need the fucking government to tell me I can or can't do it. I mean, what the fuck are they gonna do? Like arrest me? Oh no! Like you gotta <laughs> gotta catch me first, bitch. And by the way, it, it never happened when I. If you can't fucking catch me smoking reefer when I'm like fucking fourteen years old as a, as a high schooler, you ain't gonna fucking catch me at forty, dude. Just saying. Listen. So, I've never been arrested. I've never been arrested for my I've only I've only had the bracelet. Like, I've only had the bracelets on once. So and it was it wasn't for fucking reefer. So what oh yeah, i so I, I had I had the bracelets on because I hopped the turnstile at the train station. Big Shut whoop. the fuck up. Is that your I swear really? to God. And NYPD, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm a criminal, bro. Hey, you know what? See that's, that's, that's the thing though, is like I would rather have your story though. Like that that's a better Yeah. That's a bet I would rather be well, I was stupid and I was a kid and I jumped the turnstile and, you know, whatever. Yeah, John's a straight up criminal, dude, jumping a turnstile. Like, how dare you, dude? How yeah, fucking Yeah, I got, I got arrested with my wife. We did it dude, together. Speaking of turnstiles, dude, the first time I ever got on like a, a tram slash subway was in Boston. I had to ask oh. one of the I had to ask one of the Bostonians like how to fucking even get a ticket. Cause there was no there was no people at the there was no like tellers. It was like everything was yeah. automated. Every, it, yeah, everything's like, electronic. Oh, it's like 20, it was like 2012. I just got back from my first tour of Afghanistan. I had no fucking clue how to do any of this shit. I've never been on a tram. I've never been on a fucking subway in my life. I was like, I'm like sitting there looking around like, can somebody help me please? I'm a, I'm a specialist in the army and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. You know, like just, just so brain damaged, dude. Like, and like, and I, I walked over to this little old lady and I was like, excuse me, miss. I'm so sorry to bother you. Can you show me how to get a ticket to this thing? Cause I'm trying to go downtown right now. Right. Cause I was in, a, there's a little suburb of Boston called Braintree. My hotel was in Braintree. Yeah. This fucking pussy right here, dude. Like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> so like he's just, he's just this, looking at the camera. Oh, he don't give a fuck. Dude. Like this is JD, by the way, this is JD. This is, this is, this is my, my beautiful girlfriend's cat. I, I, hate, I hate to say it, JD is a very, very old cat. And that's why I give her a lot of the patience she's getting. I'm actually allergic to cats, but I give her a lot of love because she ain't going to be with us very much longer. Like, I, I do this. I can feel her spine like right now. I feel really bad. for. She eats everything all day. You know, like anything we put in front of her, she'll eat, but she doesn't gain any weight. You know what I mean? Like she has to take medicine a couple times a day. So I, I, I spoil her. You know, I spoil the cat because I know she's not going to be with us probably very much longer. So she does get spoiled. And she gets a lot more attention that I would normally not give or I would not, you know, give attention to bad behavior. But she's already knocked over the mic stand twice. So she, uh, she, um, God damn it. <laughs> That's two episodes in a row, dude. You got me. <laughs> I do spoil my pussy, though. <laughs> That's much as humanly possible. <laughs> so, um, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, you're good. So, now we have uh, real quick. Uh, this is actually a pretty interesting story. This is actually kind of heartwarming in a way because if you kind of look at the relationship between Nintendo and Microsoft now, this kind of makes sense. Uh, a couple of years ago in the 90s, Microsoft almost bought Nintendo. Well, I I don't know if they almost bought it. I I I would like to say that they attempted it, and Nintendo was just like, "Hey, no, we're we're not up to it." But well, you know, here's people the forget, people forget how long Nintendo's been around in Japan. Nintendo did not start out as a as a gaming company. It started off no. As, it, it, Nintendo's been over, been around for over a hundred years, so that they they were not a young company. Yeah, and you know I, mean, I mean, look, but they, they they used to come out with uh, card games. You right. know, Nintendo Nintendo used to come out with card games. I don't know the history of or how far. That would be a great, actually, like, DD214 history lesson, the history of Nintendo. We'll have to do that one day. Um, but, I I mean, uh, it says here, dear, the, the letter says, Dear Jackalee, 
I appreciate you taking the time to try arrange the reading with Mr. Takeda and Mr. Yamauchi to discuss a possible tr- strategic partnership between Nintendo and Microsoft on future video game platforms. I understand Mr. T- Takeda's concerns about the possible partnership and will try to obscure the guidelines that he has requested. Um, the rest of the letter is mostly obscured, and there's a brief mention of Microsoft still continued development on its Xbox project, alongside the suggestion it would help make the Dolphin help make Dolphin the best. Dolphin, of course, was Nintendo's code name for the GameCube. Okay. So this is so you know not only are we getting like a history lesson here, but we're getting Easter eggs. Oh, we're yeah. getting Easter eggs. You know, the, the Xbox was still uh, Joe. Uh, what's the year on this that that letter was that that letter was conceived? It was late nineties, I believe, was it not? I almost feel like nineteen ninety nine. So in nineteen ninety nine, the Sega Dreamcast came out. Mm-hmm. Okay, I remember Sega that. was yeah. Sega that was, was, the, that was yeah, my senior. That was my senior year of high school. So yeah, it came out September 9th, nineteen ninety nine. Nine nine ninety nine. It became a big thing. A lot of people said that that it was the devil's mark and shit like that. Who hell Satan? Hell Satan? Who? Yeah, there you go. And um, yeah, at least I know where I'm going. <laughs> oh, by, by Nintendo was founded in 1889. Oh, 1889. Shit. So that the companies at at the point you're talking when Microsoft was talking to them, their company was over 100 years old. It was 110 years old, and you got this little upstart computer company called Microsoft trying to buy them out, basically. So um, continue, please continue with what you're saying. I yeah. apologize. So what's very interesting about all this, because they were working on the GameCube, Microsoft was working on the Xbox, and through all this, look at the relationship that they have now. Games that were, that were never on Nintendo Switch from the Xbox are now on the Nintendo Switch. Right. Games that, right. Games that were once exclusive to Nintendo are now on consoles, on Xbox, on Microsoft, and on, on, on the PC Game Pass. So... You know, it's cool to see that they made that they had this relationship, and but did this did this letter spark the relationship that they have today? And I think that's something to look into because look at all the achievements. That, that Microsoft pitch was that Nintendo's hardware sucked, and I mean, look at the time, nineteen ninety nine. Microsoft was already ahead of the game. If they were already working on Xbox, the PlayStation well, Two was already out. I think yeah, was it. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think PlayStation Two is out. Here, here's here, here's here's the thing though, PlayStation kind of took over when PS Two came out. Okay, it kind of it's that's when Sony started beating Microsoft with sales. But then what happened? Nintendo came out with a Switch in what the mid two thousands, mid to late two thousands. Yep. So, uh, Joe, you got to Joe, you got to look up the United States releases for those though, because I I want to say we had a PS Two. PS, okay, yeah, P, okay, thank you, yeah, PS2, okay, yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah he's right, uh, but yeah, when, when the Nintendo Switch came out, who could have predicted in, who could have predicted in 1999 that when the Switch came out, every, or the Wii, remember the fucking Wii? Like, Nintendo, Nintendo, right took, there. Nintendo took over, basically, the console wars by marketing to kids, you know what I mean, like, they marketed to fucking kids and travelers and mobile and mobile gamers, you know, basically people who game on the move, and and what do they do? They took over a huge fucking per- percentage of the market share, basically. And Nintendo started winning. Nintendo later. started fucking winning. You know what I mean? And you know, it's the the fight always seems like the big fight always seems like it's between Microsoft and Sony, but it's not true. Nintendo, yeah. Nintendo has been whooping ass. You know what I mean for yeah, for a while. And and, the, and then after the Wii, <laughs> go ahead. I'm sorry. Say that one more time, John. Uh, the the then after the Wii came the Wii U, right, right, exactly. And they and N- N- Nintendo has this history of actually listening to their customers and not telling their customers to bend over and let them shove cactus up their ass. So the fact that Nintendo actually listens to their customers and actually gives a fuck about making a quality product, you know what I mean? Um, right there so, sets it apart from Sony and and Microsoft. I'm gonna throw Microsoft in here too, by the way. Um, because Microsoft is not immune to the corporate, the corporate fuckery that I hate so goddamn much. Right. Um, Sony's way worse. I would say Sony's way worse, but Microsoft is still a devil. So, I mean, you know, it is, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, Nintendo actually listens to what the fuck their customers say now. And now, now that Microsoft is kind of coming back and they're, you know, the, the circle, 
the wheel is kind of rolling back around again. Um, you know, now Microsoft and Nintendo have a good working relationship, it seems like. So, so yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so real quick, um, one thing that, that I, it keeps on slipping my mind and that was such a big part of what happened this month was the 20 years of Xbox. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I, and, yeah. and, and how, how it completely like slipped, how it slipped me. I, <laughs> I, I, my apologies, but you know, 20 years of Xbox and you know, this come, you know, a lot of cool stuff happened during this 20 year mark. And we're talking about major games. Um, I, one of the best things I could think about um, that Xbox did was in the last couple of years, they started making adapt- adaptive controllers for disabled individuals where right. if you, where if you don't have a hand, you can use a certain pad and right. that pad, it, it looks like a bit like a drum pad and they sure. use like maybe if they're with their, their limb, they're part of their limb mm-hmm. and they'll use it in circular motions or they'll sure. press on it. It was made. And if you look at the back of the Xbox consoles, there's a specific, a port for the adaptive control and you know it it helped a lot a lot of people a lot of people and i can imagine so you know know, they came out with the game pass they came out they came out with with i mean shit the game pass turned out to be one of the biggest things but one of their biggest i you know i i fight it all the time and you know i recently taken a bit of a perspective into this halo you know, Halo was its launch game, mm-hmm. and you know, I talk, I talk. You know, we talk. We talked about this what last week? Oh, the the two weeks, two weeks before today, uh, I reviewed the Halo uh, multiplayer. You did. you did, and it, and I told you, it's not bad. It's very fun, and I'm catching myself again playing the game. In fact, I have a crazy clip when I have I have a crazy clip that I have to port from my PC into my my clip so I could show you. But I look you know, it's to it's. It. It's fun, also, and you're gonna like too. I'm about to get a sa- I'm about to get a samurai uh, Halo outfit too. So, oh, dope, dude! When uh, there was, I think it was the, I think it was Christmas. It was Christmas. It was the year. I think it was the year. It was 2002. So not very long after the Xbox came out, I did not ask for it. Um, and my Sa- Santa Claus basically brought me. An Xbox oh, that I did not ask nice for, play. but but it, it was it was awesome. It was really cool, and I I think I I want to say of course I probably had Halo, but I want to say I, Fable was the one that I played the shit out of at first. I would go to, I would play Halo at friends' houses. You know what I mean? Like with the uh, we'd set our Xboxes up and play on you know do like a LAN party basically with yeah. the Xboxes. Like the and good old days. It, it, you know, there's it's 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 kind of an Easter egg for the Xbox if you didn't know this. Your your all of your old brick brick style original Xboxes they have names, and you have to do yeah. you have to do like either a LAN party or start trying to do to hook it up to something else before you can see the name of your Xbox. My my Xbox's name was Cupid, so <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. But I remember playing the shit out of Halo with buddies. I remember playing the absolute shit out of Fable. Uh, loved fucking Fable, but that's kind of what kept me into gaming was like my my parents actually. Even even twenty years ago, I was still a very very casual gamer. There was only a few games that I, I would even care care to care to uh, to play, you know, whatever. But but yeah, Chan, you know, <laughs> there was a, I, I played a whole game of Fa- I played a whole game of Fable one time, and I left the you know the original nickname is like you're the chicken chaser because you're like this little shit, you know, in the game. I left my I left my nickname the chicken. Ch- I made him like all demonic and like he was like the worst dude in history. In the, in the game, I killed killed every single I killed every single NPC in every single community in that game, and they still called me Chicken Chaser. I loved it. I loved it. Absolutely <laughs> loved it, dude. Like he's loved chasing chicken. Um, so now in our in our final, this is going to be such, and I'm glad that we're starting this at the 110 mark. Um, this conversation is going to be very interesting. Oh you a couple days ago sent me an article. Mm-hmm. About the Halo cosmetics cup hitting, it was like a thousand dollars, was it? Joe, could you pull if that you, up? If you do not, yeah, it's if you if you do not have Game Pass or some type of like whatever, all the content. If you had to, if you bought all, if you bought all of the cosmetics, if you bought all the skins, you bought everything that they uh, they offer in the game, it would cost a little over a thousand dollars for the for Halo Infinite. If you bought yeah. every, no. if you if you paid for everything, now there is. Some of those you can get, 
by having Game Pass and unlocking stuff in the game, I'm, I'm assuming some of that stuff is uh, is unlockable, but not all of it is. And if you and if you did not unlock any of it and just bought it outright, it would be over a thousand fucking dollars for for skins for cosmetics of a game. Shit, shit that should have come with the fucking game. We've had this conversation a million fuck a thousand dollars, a grand. For buying skins on a game. Skins and prop, I'm assuming weapons and whatever the fuck else. That's how fucking outrageous, how outrageous have we become where like a, buying a complete game would cost over a thousand dollars. Like I don't consider the game complete if you don't have access to everything in it. Yeah. That's like, that. like th this is a trend in gaming that has to fucking stop. This is, it's out of control. Just so yeah, fucking out of control. What the fuck is so it? Now, you, now, now, is this the fucking game you wanted me to play? You want me to play fucking Avengers and it costs three thousand fucking dollars? John, what are, you, what are you trying to get me into here, bro? <laughs> okay, so when you had sent me this article, this article was right next to it. <laughs> okay, now what? Who, who, these data miners are cutting into this information Good. and they're finding out and they're not only that they're also doing the math to find out how much all these cosmetics go for right that's right holy shit now avengers has a lot of shit in it i i am innocent because i have not paid for anything in that game halo i'm completely fucking guilty i got the battle pass okay i mean and, and you know what i don't i don't want this to come off as crude towards the player right i'm this is coming off as crude towards the companies okay like i am not gonna Absolutely. blame a play, i am not gonna blame a game player for liking the game that they're playing i'm not gonna blame a game player if they want to spend a couple extra bucks for this one you know one or two special skins that they just yeah. speak to speak to their soul and they can't live without i will i will give you i will give you paying a little bit extra on top of what you probably paid for the game where, where, where the buck stops with me is we when, is when we start hitting numbers that encroach on like any, any if you've already paid sixty dollars for a game anything above eighty anything anything that takes you above eighty dollars is really really pushing pushing the envelope because you've already paid sixty bucks for the whole game right the whole game how the fuck are we reaching numbers like a thousand on Halo and three thousand dollars for fucking Avengers that is so mind-numbingly out of control you were talking about exponential that's exponentially worse you know what i mean like that that is out of fucking control like that that means that means that game is as much as a fucking decent used goddamn car how are you gonna would you rather have all the skins on avengers or a fucking used car that's decent and, and works like holy fucking shit like now, uh, Deshaun, I'm going to believe you. I'm gonna, I don't believe you. I'm going I'm to be fucking. I, I don't, Deshaun, I don't fucking believe you. Okay. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to gonna show me that shit. They didn't listen. They didn't gonna, listen to shit. They I'm going to, gonna, I'm going to. So it says that there's going to be a November 30th update. Actually, that's right. The Spider Man character is coming on oh, November 30th. How much does he 30th. cost? Does he cost $500? He's, no, he's free. Oh, 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 he, oh, he's free because they realize how much bad press they're fucking getting, right? That's why fucking Spider-Man. I, I would not free. be surprised, but he does say here, Avengers is updating their system cosmetics after the November thirtieth update. Trust me, I've been following it for a while. Do you want to? Do you want? Hey, do you want? Do you, do you, want I, do you want to know why I, I don't? I don't. I never played Spider-Man. You know, like after after like the movies started coming out and shit. Why? Because Spider, Spider-Man's a pussy. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just fucking with you, dude. Fuck. Calm down. <laughs> I just pissed John off. I think for for all lifetime. No, I just pissed John. I don't. Off. I don't. I don't like Spider Man. Spider Man does like eat ass, dude. I, I eat ass too. That's not why he's a pussy. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't like Spider Man. I'm. I, I'm I've never been. I always. Now it all make it. Uh, now it all makes sense why you didn't want to watch the trailer last week. I don't. Dude, dude, I, I've only seen like, I've only seen like two or three movies out of the Mar out of the entire Marvel universe. Like honestly, like I, I've most of the most of the Marvel characters that they focused on in the in the MCU, I've never given two shits or a fuck about because a lot of them are just jackasses in the comics. Like never, I always fucking hated Iron Man. Like I, Iron Man, when I was a kid, I thought he was a cocksucker. Like worst worst fucking character, biggest asshole. Yet yet another billionaire 
billionaire rich fuck who thinks he knows better than everybody else, right? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I want well, that to, to be. Me, I want a rich person to be my fucking hero. Oh, that's who I want to fucking be when I grow up as a yeah, fucking rich yeah. asshole who thinks he knows every, better than everybody. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? We I'm a poor asshole about who thinks before. I know him better than everybody. So fuck him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, dude, like, there's so many. Spider Man's a bitch. Spider Man's a bitch. Mister Fantastic and the Fantastic Four suck dick. Okay, Thanos was not fucking wrong. Okay, the, the best part of the MCU is watching all the fucking Marvel characters get their fucking asses okay. handed to them on a platform. Now, I just want to say, now that you say movie. that, if you guys have not watched it, watch Hawkeye, because there is a lot of things that say that Thanos was right. Watch, Thanos was watch right. Hawkeye. Thanos was fucking right. I'm Dude, talking, watch, watch, watch Hawkeye. You'll love it. Captain, Amer Captain America kicks fucking ass. That's an ass kicking, that's an ass kicking red blooded American right there, okay? You know, most of the fucking rest of the Avengers are bitches, though. Hulk, Hulk is Hulk is just like a fucking bipolar, mentally ill fuck. You know what I mean? On steroids. Okay, Thor Thor doesn't even fucking belong on this fucking planet. He's like some fucking alien fuck. Again, who thinks he can come down to my planet and because he knows better than everybody, just swing a fucking hammer around and fuck everything up. Can you can you imagine the scale of destruction that those fucking super, those alleged superheroes have brought to the fucking Earth with them with them fucking with everything because they know because they think they know fucking better than everybody else. Why? Because you got some fucking superpowers. Bitch, bitch, Joe, I got a superpower. It. It's called a fucking M4. Okay, I have a theory like, on all this. Like, where's my fucking oh, movie? You know? I have a theory on all this, Jay. I want to hear uh, it. I want to hear everybody's, it. Everybody's going to think it's the most conspiracy theory sounding shit in the world. Basically, it's the Illuminati showing us what they've been planning the entire time through these movies because they have to show you some way or another. And the way that tipped it off to me was basically... Uh, Oh God! It had something to do with um, people being rich and just people you know being, we want people rich being rich, be our heroes and shit. You know, good versus evil type of thing. You know, there was a lot of things that I was looking at from like a different perspective after having gone down the rabbit holes a few times, and it's mm -hmm. like, oh my God, they're this is this is everything that's been happening around us. They've just been that's laying right. it out in they front of us, us through this. I'm telling you, they they want us to see people like fucking Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk and Bill Gates as good altruistic human beings, which they're not. Like they are serious. I don't care what you, I don't like do, do, do some actual research and, and, uh, for, uh, for Amber, uh, for Amber Myers, uh, I did not see WandaVision. Um, as far as what I think about Scarlet Witch, I, I wish I had a, an opinion for you. I don't, um, was not, I, 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 I was never, I, just, I was never interested in that character when I read comics and I've seen nothing in the MCU that makes me give two shits or a fuck about. And again, let me, let me, clarify this by just because i didn't watch it doesn't mean it's not good i get i'm not talking shit about people that enjoy these characters this is these are very specific j opinion this is, not, right. this is not a dd214 wide opinion this is all me because i i'm very picky about what i perceive to be good and evil i guess if you want to call it that and the, my, my, my main point before i get before john goes like my main point is i will a, a rich a rich person will never be my fucking hero like that that's like if you're if you're rich, you know, put your money in the bank, have fun counting it, and get the fuck out of my face. I don't need you to tell me anything for the rest of your life. Just go sit on your ass on your pile of money and leave the and leave the world the fuck alone. You know what I mean? If you're not if you're not gonna do something that advances humanity, leave the fuck leave the fucking world alone. Because you do not know better. Look at look That's at what weird. look at what all the billionaires have been doing lately. They've been riding dicks up into fucking space. How come they're, they're not? How come they're not fucking enriching the communities? How come they're not fucking donating money to fucking build better infrastructure? Where the where the fuck is our fiber wire fucking internet that we were supposed to have 20 fucking years ago in the United States, the country that invented the internet? It's because they're greedy, cocksucking suckers of Satan's cock. It's not going to happen, folks. Rich people are not your fucking heroes. Rich pe uh, being a rich person is not a fucking being a rich person is not a fucking life goal. Straight up, it's not a life goal. Money will not fucking make you happy. Money will not bring back anybody that you've lost. That's exactly what they did, Deshaun. Don't don't fucking lie. It looks like a fucking giant dick. Tell me I'm wrong. Please. They did. They did. <laughs> they did. Go ahead, John. Now, I, I'm not, fucking not to add, <laughs> not to add into what uh to what to answer Amber Myers' question. One division was the best Marvel show that they came out with. Okay. WandaVision was the best Marvel show. And I'm going to tell you why. Because it dealt with obsession. It dealt with mental illness. Clearly. It dealt it dealt with loss. 
Dude, can okay. you imagine how good that, that fucking vision is, though? Dude, like the dude's dude, a I fucking mean, and like the dude's guys, a fucking the guys, dude's like a robot with AI in it, dude. Like, can you imagine how good he is? Like, listen, my favorite Marvel character is Cyclops, but Vision is a hard second. I mean, I was him for Halloween for Christ's sakes, right? You know, right. like the show, like. We got Scarlet Witch, who's a Nexus being, one of the most powerful beings in the whole Marvel Universe next to Doctor Strange. You know, like, you know, WandaVision was the best Marvel show. And they they keep on adding up. They keep on. Yeah, there, there they are. The homies, the homies. The best show. The best show. Uh, hey, Joe, Joe, I'm going to send you something real quick. I want you to post this image real quick since we're since we're all kind of uh, sucking sucking WandaVision's dick here. Okay. Um, give me one second here. I'm gonna send it over the uh, Facebook chat. I'd ride a giant yeah. cock to go to space. <laughs> I'd let her too. <laughs> it's like if that's her dream, by God, we'll make it happen. <laughs> I will. I will. I, I will not take away from from your from your dreams and aspirations. That's right. That's my that's my darling. <laughs> hey, Joe. Joe, did you get that? Did you get that picture? There you go. See, that's what I like to see. That right there. Oh, baby. That's Vision. That's Vision getting his fucking heart ripped out by Thanos because Thanos ain't fucking wrong. Fuck the MCU, dude. Fuck the MCU and fuck rich cocksuckers. <laughs> and on and, Vision's just a and vi- on that note. Vision's just a giant vibrator, dude, for fucking Wanda, dude. Like, fuck that shit, dude. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> With with this swag, I mean, without how drip are you? How are you this like amazing robot, whatever the fuck you are, with like artificial intelligence, and you get pussy whipped like that? Like somebody just fucking explain that to me right now. Like what a fucking plot ah. hole! What a fucking plot hole! Like how the fuck does a robot get pussy whipped? You know what I'm saying? Vision's a bitch. <laughs> he is a fucking bitch. Fuck him. Like <laughs> what you talking about? He sacrificed himself D- for dude, the pussy. Here. Joe, 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 I, Joe, I got another one for you. Give me, give me ten seconds. Riding dicks to space. DD two fourteen next album. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Where the fuck is it? Vision was honorable. Uh, what is love? Without wait, what is it? What is grief without love persevering? What is grief without love? First, where did you get that? From Vision. Oh, really? (laughs) What is grief without love? First, see, he sounds like a bitch. He has no emotion. He has no emotion. Pussy whipped. How is the dude pussy whipped if he has no emotion? That is such a fuck, dude. That is such a plot hole. Are you kidding me? Because she controls the stone, she is the. Let you gotta show, watch WandaVision. Let me show that's, you what a real man. Let me show you what a real man looks like standing up to Thanos right now. Joe, Joe, whenever you get that, pop that up. This is what a real man looks like standing up to his, and facing his death down. Okay, let me show. He you did what a real hold man the hammer. Like. He did hold the hammer. I wasn't. He picked up Thor's hammer. In the fucking movies. In the movies, <laughs> that's what a real man looks like facing death. Okay, Vision just died like a chunk. Die like a fucking chump. Like a chump. Hey, like a chump. Hey, like a chump. Hey, should I be feeling bad? Should I be feeling good? It's kind of sad. I'm the laughing stock of the entire fucking MCU because your name is Vision, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) By the way, I have this is a cheap plug, but the new Lip Biscuit album is out. Dude, it's called hey, Limp Biscuit still those, sucks. Hey, fuck those assholes too, dude. Like I'm dude, I'm on a roll today. Dude. I'm not liking anything today. All right, I'm fucking. I'm done. I'm done. All right. <laughs> oh shit. I can't be happy. Nobody's happy. <laughs> fuck your happiness. Fuck, oh. fuck your life. <laughs> and on and on that note, guys, uh, make sure you check out. Uh, before we end the show, make sure you check out uh, uh, the link tree. Go to the link tree, www.linktree.com slash DD214Gaming for all our links. There's Facebook, Discord, um, Apple, Spotify, YouTube, Anchor. And if you click on the Anchor, you can leave us a voicemail and tell us oh, what yeah. you think of the show. You can tell, tell us what you don't like something. about the show. I bet you won't. I bet you won't tell us, you fucking pussies. Bet you won't. Bet you won't go do on it, the Manchester. U- go on the YouTube. 
and leave a <laughs> go on the YouTube and subscribe and leave a comment. We had one guy tell us how much he didn't like us, and we're still here. And did we really? Did we really? <laughs> you know who it was? Do I? We'll talk uh, about yeah. it. Later. We'll talk about yeah, it. Later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hope. I hope they. I hope they bomb us. I hope. I hope they do. I hope we end up with like a fucking not even a one star rating. I hope we end up with like negative stars. Fucking and just and just and just so you know that that individual is the only person who ever gave us a thumbs down on YouTube. We see you and we hope you write back, but it's okay because we still, more, we you still are have more love. Than, you are more than welcome to watch our show as much as possible and tell us exactly how much we suck because you're still yes. fucking because you're still fucking watching, aren't you? Like and I'm not and, and you, you just got to comment because we're not going to know how you feel if you don't tell us. Yeah, and also we don't get our we and also we don't get our numbers up if you don't comment bad or good. So you know, I'm just you yeah, know. <laughs> that's right. That's exactly right. That's well, and it's, and it's true. I mean, the the ultimate reality of this is is like we can become monetized, and you know what? I would love to make money off of all of your. Out of I would love to make all of my money off of the sweat of your guys' backs. So by all means, just watch <laughs> us, subscribe, make me rich like that cocksucker, Mr. Beast. How about that? Why don't you make me rich, right? Like, and, and, and yes, you know, to, to all of our wonderful people in our audience, like you can eat our asses. Like, <laughs> it's like everything you're not supposed to say to your, to your base. Right. Like, it's like, but isn't that pretty much what president Trump did? Like during 2016, he's like wiping his ass with the American flag and just not giving no fucks. And he won the presidency. You know what I mean? He's just like, he's like, yeah, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nope. You're wrong. I've been rich my whole life, and uh, but I swear to God, I'm I'm the man for you. I'll lead the country because I'm rich. <laughs> Wrong, China, China. Yeah, fuck. And that if you had, and if and if you're having some issues dealing with some politics and stuff, you just need to chill out. Go check out Blaze Eight New Jersey, Blaze Eight Online New Jersey dot com today for your all CBD and Delta Eight needs. There's toothpaste. There's rose petal blunts. There's hand cream. There's there's, there's there's all the good stuff for all your did pet you say needs. Hand cream? Did you say hand cream? There's hand cream. There's Man, hand I got, cream. I, I got a couple of ideas. I got a couple of ideas what I could be doing with some hand cream. Just saying, bro. Just saying. There you go. For all your pet needs, check out smokiespetpantry.com. Leave an email and you will get immediate updates today. Um, what other fucking what other fucking uh dog food? Did you say did you just do the pet food one? Yeah, we did the pet food. We, did uh, pet food. Rogue. we, did, we, we got Rogue Energy. We talked about the yeah, meth. Okay. All right. Uh, All right. All right. So yes. Yeah, so now we're up to the the final the final one. So we so we've got we've got meth and we plug cannabis. So we need to find a company that does something with heroin, right? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> so we. So we can start plugging all the drugs on our fucking show. You know what I mean? Like, it's like once you once you get out of the military, you can do all the drugs, kids. Like, <laughs> you know, you know what? Just for you, Deshaun, we're gonna do the rogue energy once again, guys. If you need energy to eat our asses, <laughs> make sure you use code DD two fourteen gaming. For ten percent off your next order today, you can't eat ass without energy. You can't you can't eat cock without energy. You don't won't mean, even have big dick energy if you don't drink that type of rogue energy. You can't. Don't. I don't know why you guys are so scared. You're only going to be up for seventy two hours. It will be fine. You don't start hallucinating until like hour fifty. You can't eat ass without rogue energy. That's right. And that code is once again. You don't start. You don't start hallucinating until like you've been awake for about fifty plus hours. So don't be scared. Like Jesus hates a pussy. Don't be scared. Absolutely, right. absolutely. And and on the final and the final final thing. Hey guys, the 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 time of the year is here. We're in the fine the final strokes of two thousand twenty one. Mm-hmm. A lot of you guys were very successful. A lot of you guys were completely opposite. And you know we're co- we're coming into a very a very interesting time of that we're coming into Christmas we're coming into the holidays we're coming into a lot of stress factors a lot of triggering things loss of family uh, maybe you're going maybe you're going through a divorce maybe maybe you just got out of the military or yeah you know you 
there's a lot of shit going on right now, and the holidays always add on to these emotions. So, guys, make sure you always call the number. 1-800-273-8255. The number is 1-800-273-TALK. You could call them. You could text them. You could write to them in your web browser today. You could write to them right from Google, and you could have a conversation with them today. They're here. They are volunteering to hear your story today. Okay, they, They're here for you. They, they will not miss a beat for you guys so please guys and if you know if you guys are too nervous or you know you don't want to talk to a stranger the doors are always open for us you absolutely. contact any of us here at dd214 gaming and, absolutely absolutely you know, it, it, we did we just entered christmas season officially as of black friday right that's the kind of yep. unofficial start of christmas season pick up pick up the phones guys check in check in on on your your brothers and sisters answer the phone if somebody calls you if you need something, call someone. Like we, we cannot stress it enough. Um, I am averaging. I think I've said that before. I, I'm averaging about one to two funerals a year now for the last like three or four years straight. So um, I prefer to not go to as many in 2022 if if you know if if the uh, if the universe allows. Um, and if and if and if all it takes is a phone call to prevent another funeral from happening please answer or please reach out one, one, one or the other, or both like be there for somebody else. So that when it's your turn, somebody else will be there for you. Uh, we always pay it for, and we always got your six. So for all, for all the joking, this is this part of the, this, this, this part of the show is, 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 is a real very serious topic for us. And we do, we do take it very seriously. And, and our, you know, and our producers, right. You can't eat ass if you're dead. So, you know, save some energy because you've got a lot of ass to eat yet in life. So be good, really be, be, good yeah. be good to each other, be excellent to each other. Party on, man. <clears throat> See you guys next week for Swallow Sundays. Have a good week, everybody. Have a good week. <laughs>